coaches and parents have tremendous influence over their players' performances and beliefs on and off the field, court, or rink. Often, however, the big picture, it gets lost in young athletes' minds because, well, there are so many small little pictures, details, for these kids to remember. Let's start here by asking ourselves, what is it that we really want our youth athletes to learn by participating in their sport? Hold that thought for a second. Because recently I thought back to my own experiences as a child and young athlete. And what really stood out for me was my mom constantly telling me, you can do anything you want if you put your mind to it. I can actually still hear her voice in my head. Now, was my mom a perfect parent? Absolutely not. But she did put a lot of energy into teaching my brother and I that one big lesson. And this is what you want to do as a coach or parent. I encourage you to have a big theme or statement that you repeat over and over to your child or your players that is totally empowering and gives them a big picture lesson that they can carry with them their whole life. That is the gift of sports that keeps on giving. You can come up with a short statement that I like to call a sports mantra. Whether it's a personal one or a team one, here's a few examples. My favorite, I always figure it out. There's another one, we go all out or we don't go at all. Or we win when we go all out and we want to win. How about this? leave it all out there on the field, or we love to compete. Another personal favorite I use, bring it on. How about, I make myself stronger by strengthening the team, or 100% effort, 100% attitude. Respect of self, respect of others. Kind of a John Woodenish kind of thing. Another favorite of mine from the Mental Toughness Academy, it's just chemicals. Let's do this to deal with fears. For coaches, this can be a really quick statement that reflects the theme about your coaching style. For parents, it's what you really want your kid to learn from sports. You want to repeat that message or theme to your players often, everywhere. Quiz them on it using different scenarios to get them to say the words out loud in, in real life and game context. Now think about this for a second. All right. Imagine we're five or even ten years down the road from your current kid's sports experience. Do you think your kid is going to remember how he learned to do drills and training or any particular game or get in proper places or any of that? No, not a chance. I've interviewed countless athletes about their sports history and you know what they remember and carry with them? They remember their worst chokes. Some of them, their best performances, but not all of them. But more commonly, all of them, something their coach or parent taught them that was consistent, like I'm talking about. Use one of my examples or brainstorm with the team or, or your child and come up with something on your own. The key is to constantly repeat it. This works just as well for parents at home, even if they're not in sports. You know, I have two boys that you can imagine being my kid, right? I've been teaching them since they were young how to be fearless in life because I'm convinced that's the key to happiness. And our family motto is, things always work out for us. Make youth sports an amazing learning experience by coming up with and using a powerful model like this. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer. Let's do this.